The World Health Organization clarifies the widespread confusion it spread across the globe after saying transmission of COVID-19 by asymptomatic individuals is, quote, very rare. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Alan Martin. While there's still a lot we don't know, we did learn today that it may be safer to send our young children back out into the world before the rest of us follow. And in that, I use the phrase very rare. And I think that that's um, misunderstanding to, to state that, that asymptomatic transmission globally is very rare. What I was referring to was a subset of, of, of studies. Today, I spoke with Dr. George Rutherford, epidemiologist at UCSF, about what is known about asymptomatic spread of coronavirus. We know from a couple of, of large-scale reviews that, uh, uh, that the proportion of people with this infection who, who are asymptomatic at the time they're tested is somewhere between 40 and 45 percent. Dr. Rutherford says we have to take asymptomatic spread of the virus very seriously. And he stresses that wearing masks when out in public is extremely important. And we are getting closer to allowing students to return to school, even summer yeah. camps. Is that safe yet? I think it is. I think it is. And now, I, I would not send my child to a choir camp. The singing's a clear risk factor, and I would probably not send him to a camp to learn how to play wind instruments until we get that part figured out. However, the kind of sports camps that we're seeing that typically kids will engage in in the summer, I think are going to be okay. The teachers need to wear masks. They need to take uh, hygienic precautions. They need to be able to, kids need to be able to wash their hands or use hand sanitizer. Uh, they need to be encouraged to maintain social distancing to the extent that any kid can. But I think those are going to be, I think it's going to be relatively safe. The larger issues of schools is uh, a work in progress, to put it mildly. And, and we really, at least in my mind, I differentiate between elementary school and other kids. Elementary school children, at least up to the age of 10 or 11, there are physiologic reasons why they are not getting as much and not transmitting as much uh, uh, of uh, SARS-CoV-2. And that has to do with the, the number of receptors they have that the, that the organism can dock to. The number of the receptors goes up as you go through adolescence. And so younger kids tend to be relatively less likely to transmit and relatively less likely to become infected, at least based on the very, very, very limited data we have. He says the Bay Area has done a good job keeping the virus under control, while a lot of the country is seeing record increases in virus cases. He believes the numbers are going up because of crowd sizes growing. I don't think we're seeing the, uh, anything from the marches yet. And if you go to places like Minnesota, and Washington, D.C., where we should have seen them first, they still are having declining case counts as of this morning. Um, I think around the state, what we're looking for are how much of just the same old pattern of, of the people we've seen with community-acquired disease, how much of this is a result of trying to find, of identifying more people with less symptomatic disease whom we would not have tested in the past, uh, and how much of it could be the result of mass gatherings, the kinds of things we saw from Memorial Day. There's really there are clear upticks in both uh, Arizona and Texas that seem to coincide with Memorial Day. Now, Dr. Rutherford says going forward, it is crucial that people who are sick stay at home because if you're sick, the masks that most of us are wearing right now won't make much of a difference.